Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to build a pretty stupid app, but it's very fundamental stuff and it's going to teach us um, important things. So what we're building today is basically a counter app with a button and then it just counts how many times you've clicked the button and it just displays it on the button. So I'm going to go ahead and drag a button in here. And so what's important here is that we want the text to be a number. So I want it to start at zero, but you could make it start at any number you want. Probably zero makes the most sense here. And let's make it kind of circle. And we can also go ahead and make this a little larger so it looks better. Yeah, that looks good. So I want this um, button to be, every time it's clicked, to just increment by one. So, and it's, this is what's called an increment operation, which is really fundamental in programming. Incrementing just means adding one to something and decrementing means taking out one. So increment, decrement. And what you might think um, on how to solve this is maybe go into the blocks and go into our button, do an event handler. And then what would happen if we just set the button's text. Um, where is the text? There it is. So what you might think is go in here and then just set that to one, which that's fine, that's gonna work, but is that really what we want to happen? Because if I go back into my design and I preview my app, I'm gonna click this and nice, it just, it increments it to one, but what happens if I keep clicking it? Nothing is gonna happen and that's not what we want. We just want it to keep adding one to it and keep getting bigger and count. So what we're actually going to do is that, what we want to happen is that we want the value of the button to be updated to one plus the value of the button. So if it's zero, we want it to be updated to one plus zero to one. If it's one, one plus one to two and keep going like that. And the way that we're going to do that is with a math addition block. So I'm going to take this thing and put it in here. So what do I wanna set the button's text to? I wanna set it to the button's current value plus one. So how do I get the current value of the button? Remember, I go in here and we can go down. And remember, just like I have a set that changes things, I also have this get block. Um, so I'm going to get this get block and then I'm going to put it in here. And here's our logic now. So when the button is clicked, I'm going to set the button's text to the button's text plus one. So it starts out at zero and it's going to be set to zero plus one. And then it's going to keep doing that. So if I go back in here and hit play, I should have a counter. As you can see, it just keeps going up. So what we have here is actually very fundamental to programming and it's kind of important to understand how it works. So the way that this is interpreted, actually, it's kind of like parentheses, it's inside out. So the first thing that happens is that the button's text, we need to get that because to set, um, to get the correct number, we first need to calculate that number. So this happens first, the, the button is, the text is, um, we get the text. And then what happens next is that this portion, so this little purple one, so that calculation happens inside the application. So it just adds one to that number. And then what happens finally is that we set the button's text to that number that we calculated. So that is like how the, how the um, turn of events happens. So when I click this inside, so before it changes, it's thinking, okay, so what, is, what was the text on, of the button? It was zero, so we just add one to that. And that is the logic. That is why it just keeps adding one whenever that event handler happens. So that's our counter app. I know it's not very exciting, but it's very fundamental stuff. And yeah, it's pretty simple, I'd say.